It's time for the Cooper Group's road trip, and it's an American revolution. If you're looking for a vehicle with great MPG, no one offers more than Chevy. And no one serves you better than Sea Weaver Chevrolet on Commercial Drive in Yorkville. This week, we travel on Route 12, 30 miles south of Utica, to Earlville. When you visit Earlville, you're visiting small town USA, a place where time moves a little slower. It is especially felt this time of year when the summer pace slows to cool autumn and people seem to slow down to enjoy the changing season. Traveling round the Mohawk Valley. The Earlville Let's Free Library is where kids go after school to meet up with their friends, take out a book, or use the computers. On display are artifacts from a local Civil War soldier, Major Keach, who registered with the 61st Regiment of the New York Volunteers Infantry. Children are intrigued by his sabers, pistol, spurs, and even a fork he carried throughout the war. I know life is never easy, I've always had it rough. The entire northwest corner of downtown Earlville is made up of the historic Smith Block Building. This early example of a modern strip mall has housed various businesses over the years. Today it is home to Corey's Hardware and Gift Shop. The frequent the auctions at the Marquee Auction House and the small antique shops throughout the area make Earlville a popular stop for antique collectors. Black Cat Antiques and Gifts on Main Street is a great place to shop for vintage jewelry, clothing, hats, furniture, and collectibles. Life's not fair. She hasn't been acting the same, and they both point the blame. But it takes two to win the game of love there Love forbidden, love that's blind. Faith is lost and lay entwined. Need and love at any cost. The Shenango River was the lifeblood of the early settlement of Earlville. Today it is a recreational resource. Just south of Earlville on Route 12B, turn right onto Williams Road to find a DEC fishing area. Sometimes I don't know what to say. I'm always sincere, that's for sure. Life can be hard sometimes, but the struggle is a state of mind. Believe in yourself, that's the cure. Head further along Williams Road and over a bridge to find a beautifully sloped launch site for canoes and kayaks. From here you can paddle through the Shenango Valley over 100 miles to Binghamton. It is one of the most gently sloping streams in New York, and you're likely to see geese, ducks, deer, otter, and beaver. A great trip idea is to park one vehicle in Sherburne at the Rogers Environmental Center and drive to the launch site on Conley Road in Earlville and paddle the five miles, or about two hours, back to Sherburne. Playing in the water always makes us hungry, so we head back into the village to check out the lunch options. In a beautiful Victorian home on Main Street, circa 1880, is the Village Cafe. This cafe is typical small town USA, where locals meet and the waitress, turned owner, knows everyone by name. When they come in, you know what they want and where they're gonna sit and what they like to have and all that. So, yeah, it keeps it personal, I guess. Visit the Village Cafe today and ask for a wedgie, the cafe's signature sandwich. Order a Philly wedgie, little piggy wedgie, or a veggie wedgie and receive a complimentary homemade dessert. The Village Cafe is open today from 11 to 4. On the flip side of Main Street is the Huffbrow Tavern and Cafe, named for the former owner and decorated veteran Lehman C. Huff. Carrying on the tradition of this local landmark is Becky Jansen. Her customers go out of their way to tell you how much they enjoy her restaurant. The Huffbrow is open Monday through Friday for breakfast and lunch, and Friday nights for fish fry. We head east of the village to Earlville Road and Drover Hill Farm. This former 1800s hops farm has been transformed into a beautiful bed and breakfast. Drover Hill Farm raises Black Angus and Highland cattle and has gained recognition throughout New York State and across the country, exhibiting national and grand champions. 
My parents had bought the farm and, and I moved up here. I graduated early from high school and, and it was basically something for me to do before I was supposed to start college and uh, I never did go to college. We have uh, Scottish Highland and Angus. Um, they're both beef, beef breeds. Um, Angus is probably the most popular right now, beef breed. And, and uh, we've always had Highlands. We had seen them over in Scotland and uh, they're a uh, um, a very hardy breed. They, they do well in this area because of the, the long hair. Um, they're also a, a really good beef breed. They produce nice lean carcasses. There's a lot of the old ways that uh, you know make sense but there's also um, certain things that you want to do to modernize too. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess in some, some sense there's a connection. Basically what we do, because we attend a lot of farmers markets and um, people will come and ask questions and, you know, uh, basically looking for certain things. So a lot of what we do is we educate them whenever possible and wherever we can to give them, because everybody wants something different. Mm -hmm. So, um, and giving them a better understanding about who we are and what the offerings were and the questions for them to ask so that they know what they want is what they're getting. Mm -hmm. I love the cattle. <laughs> um, I think when I met William, that's one of the things that I truly, truly fell in love with, as well as um, I love the people. And um, I was in the business world. And to be honest with you, I love not having to get dressed up anymore. This is what I look like every day. <laughs> so I don't know, I just guess getting back to my roots, if that makes sense, I truly, truly enjoy it. And the people you meet at the farmer's markets are just phenomenal. They're wonderful people. Drover Hill Farms dry aged beef is available at the farm. Call 691 2325. Find their specialty items at Jewett's Cheese House in Earlville, Nelson Farms in Casanova, Green Hills Grocery in Syracuse, and featured on the menus at the Poolville Country Store and the Colgate Inn. It's time for the Cooper Group's room.